KSL Live at 5 starts now. Breaking news coming out of southern Utah where a press conference recently wrapped up about a deadly plane crash that took the life of a state senator from North Dakota and his family. That plane going down late last night just north of Moab. New specialist Dan Rascone is covering the story for us. He now joins us live and Dan, a very, very tragic crash here. Yeah, just a heartbreaking story here to talk to you about. Investigators confirming to us just this afternoon that on that plane was State Senator Douglas Larson, his wife Amy, and then their two young children. This is video right here from Chopper 5 of the crash that happened just north of the Canyonlands Field Airport, which is just north of Moab. <clears throat> Investigators say last night at about 826, dispatch got a call of a single aircraft crashing after taking off from the airport. When investigators arrived, they found all four people on board, that single engine plane dead. Here's a picture of that family, Douglas Larson, a state senator, as we mentioned, from North Dakota, his wife, Amy, and their two young children. Larson had won his election back in November of 2020. North Dakota senators were told the Larsons visited family in Arizona and had stopped in Utah to refuel. Well, about an hour ago, investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board, the FAA, Grand County Sheriff's Office all held a press conference. We'll be gathering information out at the scene. Once the information is gathered, we're gonna recover the aircraft to a secure facility where we will continue the investigation. Um, the public can expect a preliminary report in about 14 days, followed by a final report with probable cause. And depending on the complexities of the investigation, uh, that may go out to a year to 18 months. According to a state senator Facebook page, Larson had spent 26 years in the North Dakota National Guard and was a successful private business owner. Again, the cause is still unknown right now, and it could take quite some time before we find that out. I'm Dan Roscoe and live back to you guys here in the